In this video, we explore interaction with commercial map-based applications on a multi-user tabletop display. Is how can we redefine the interaction so it's suitable for a multi-touch tabletop uh, interactive surface? We've uh, added the ability to do a panning action with one hand, um, and it's also possible to use a zooming action by spreading two fingers apart or putting two fingers together. Fly to Boston. You can see that the space is moving, um, but you know why the space is moving in particular. You know that I'm going to Boston, Massachusetts because I said uh, that command verbally. So let me remove this layer and try another layer. Undo layer, layer, dining. Undo layer, layer, buildings, navigation panel. Area, and I can rotate or tilt the space uh, slightly and I can rotate it around to get a sense of the topography of the different buildings around this area. You can reorient, undo layer, navigation panel, measure distance. So if I want to find out the distance from this block of the city all the way to the harbor, um, what I do is I draw a line between those two spaces and it says basically how what the distance is and in this case it's 1.26 miles. Create a path. Okay. Tour last path. So here in this example you can see that I'm navigating within the space based on the path that I've just recently drawn create a region, I can select a particular area, and you can see it's, it's semi-transparent. What we're trying to do is show a command and control situation using both gestures and speech on a tabletop. If I use a hand and if I put it onto the surface, I can, as you can see, I can pan the space around. Okay? I can select units using a single finger by touching on them so I can make them either move or attack by putting two fingers onto the surface and you can see that this unit is now moving to the new location I can make a move back as well move here you can see that there's some kind of auditory command if I say attack here you can hear, it, you can hear that there is some auditory response I can basically put my hand down and I can select units between a particular region using a bimanual selection t technique. This is something that's quite difficult to do with uh, just a mouse. Um, and I can a actually take those units and I can label them as particular numbers. So if I say label as unit 2, unit 2, move here. And you can see that the two units are now relocating. Next worker you can see I'm relocating um, to where all the workers are and I build a farm here and then he builds he's going to go off and build a farm build a barracks here so now he's going off to build this barracks label as unit 2 what do you want? we're under attack Unit 2, move here. Something you're doing? Work, work, 